This is the EMF Audio Banhammer V212. It's been a very long time coming. And a lot of customers, everybody who did pre-orders, have already received theirs. So here is what we're looking at. Compared to the V1, uh, we've got same boot logo kind of thing going on here. We have a different frame that is stronger, will not break. Uh, the TI frame, um, we had a couple people that uh, had mentioned that the basket had broken. Um, it was definitely strong enough for it. We still have a four inch copper coil. Uh, one thing we have done differently on this version, we've got a metal gasket that you can unscrew. And the reason we did this is because a lot of people were just taking the gasket off why I don't know, but they were. Uh, if they were inverting, they were taking them off, and sometimes they just took them off for some reason I can't explain. Uh, but because we had that, we also want to do this. So we also include a regular rubber gasket if you want to use it. So there's some hex screws on top. You take those four out. You take this ring off. This slides right over it like it normally would. You have the option to use either one. Both are included. They're shipping uh, with the metal ring that also would hold the surround down uh, as an extra thing. It's glued down, but as a little extra. Or you can use your regular rubber gasket if you prefer that. We're secured on top as well. The spider is now red where it used to not be. It used to be black. Uh, these spiders are spaced out just a little bit on the 12s. Gives uh, increased stability of the cone and coil because it's a little bit tighter uh, in there on this design. The 15 was already spaced out. 15 is still spaced out. So this one's built a little bit stronger, built a little bit better. Uh, we've got a slightly different dust cap style on this one, more contact area. We didn't have a problem with them coming off before, but we're going to guarantee that we don't now because this version is 18% stronger than the version one. We also have additional cooling features. I've smoothed out a few things, uh, improved the cooling, and that is why our power rating has gone up to 3000 RMS on this one. So I will get this playing. And uh, you're going to hear some mechanical noise because it's sitting on the foam, but I'll move it around. You'll see how much this guy moves. We've got a similar X-Max to the V1. So this is kind of a direct swap. If you had a V1 and you want to upgrade, you could go to the V2. Box requirements are the same. Those are on the website as well as the specs. And you can pick these up at emfcaraudio.com. I may do some inbox testing in the future, but these are in stock and shipping in the 12 and 15 available in a dual one and dual two configuration.